whenever they see overdose, oh, just another junkie overdosed. That just breaks my heart because he was so much more than that. Christy Cawley lost her 17-year-old adopted son, Aiden, to a heroin overdose on February 1st of this year. She says he battled addiction from the time he was in the sixth grade and had been revived from a fentanyl overdose just last year and had been through rehab at least twice. Cawley provided Local 12 with these pictures and videos of her son. The latest state of addiction report for Hamilton County indicates overdose deaths fell in 2023, the second annual decline. But the 393 deaths last year are still nearly double the 204 overdose fatals in 2012. Still, those battling the epidemic say the huge influx of money from settlements with drug companies and distributors will help even more. Ohio's getting more than $2 billion, with Hamilton County getting $2.6 million directly. The county is also getting another $4.8 million soon through the Foundation One Ohio, set up to help distribute some of those funds to nonprofit and community agencies. We are excited to announce that our first grant round is now open here in our state, and this year we'll give out $51 million across the, the, the state. Aiden won't show up on the latest report showing last year's overdose deaths because it happened this year and he actually died in Maine. McCauley says her son is more than just a statistic and hopes the new money helps parents of minors get more assistance for their loved ones. We still need help here, especially for kids, I think. I just, I hate that there's, you know, parents don't know what to do. James Pilcher, Local 12 News. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.